How's everybody doing today? I'm going to do a fairly quick tutorial on how to do double doors. So, the first thing is showing you how to easily make doors float. You place a doorway, you add a door, make the doorway not a doorway, then you can get rid of the, the wall. Alright, pretty simple. And when we make the double door, we're going to do basically the same idea, except we are going to use the, um, oh, that's being dumb. We're going to use the, the door as like a jig. Because we need to get the door. I think it's halfway or so, just a little less than half. We're just going to take move the center of the, the floor to the center of the door. Because we're using this door as our, like a jig, so we can see our placement. But I need to move this floor back a smidge. Because we need to go get a wall there. Uh, I think I made the mistake of putting that on the wrong side. No big deal. This is super finicky. So, there is a lot of that. Alright. Place it over. Since I'm doing the other one, I will just do the same thing. We'll do the diner door so we have the right ones up. And then you'll need to figure out the orientation you want to do. So place your door. Make sure it opens the right direction that you want. Close our first door. Look at that floor. And in this one, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We are going to move the the edge of the floor to the center. sure it opens the direction you want. We don't want it to open that direction. Obviously we can't have a true um, like a true French door, but this will be close enough. And just make sure everything lines up. I mean, this is a little out, but you get the idea of it. It's just um getting them lined up and you'll play with some stuff to get them the way you want and then when you get it where you want then you can just recenter the, the door or the floor on the doors now doing this you won't have any true doorway so uh, what I used was um, you have to do a couple different things because first you notice this is lower um, you'll need to take which you can always line this back up we can get rid of this one but we're gonna lower uh, we'll just do a wall for reference you see how much gap you have on top of the door way this as much as possible and then you're gonna put a doorway a roof and then you can take a half wall and attach it 
I'm not getting it exact, but you'll get the idea of the process. Um, so in this case, we actually need to, to raise it up so we can get the half where we want it. And all I'm doing if you're on PC is hold the place button and then use the scroll wheel to bring the, the foundation up. Place half wall. It may take some fiddling to get it right, so we'll get this down a little bit further. Get our wall back here. Roof. And half wall. So now we've got our gap. Like ideally, you want to get this place just in front of your other wall, so that way you can get this. And then what I did for the stack here is just move the foundation. Um, the order in which I take those out is important. Um, you take the floor, since the doorway will float, you take the floor out first, you take the roof out, and then the other wall. And then you can leave this one floating. Um, and then now you would take, and you would line all your foundations up to where you want them. And you would start building. And that is roughly <sighs> what I did when I built this, um, this planner. And I did update today with some of the new stuff, so. Added in the new walls, the new vendor, the new Respect diner that stuff, hard to so. Come. But that's kind of the gist of getting this to work. Um, and then, like you said, with the poles, you want to take, um, if you don't know about this, I think DTD Gamer is the one who found this out. I saw it um, on Sinister Handstream. But you just take, you can take any of the two poles, um, the long one. You're probably better off blueprinting both. And then you create a blueprint of just these two. And once you do that, you can place them anywhere. Um, I, I recommend definitely making a short and a tall one because sometimes you'll need um, different stuff. And like I filled in the side of the doors with these. Um, and having floating poles allow you to do a whole bunch of other stuff that you couldn't do. Um, like I put the Slocum Joe sign on the pole but I used the power connector to set it there. Um, but we'll go back up to the big pole and then merging it just into the door just a smidge. Again, I'm just doing this to give you the idea. It's going to be your decision on how perfect you want it. And then you have, and then you can start snapping your other floors and everything to it and build. And build it however you desire. And then you have double doors. So hopefully this was helpful and this helps you do different, some unique things. You can also make false doors with this doing the same thing by placing a wall with a doorway, play, put a door on and then turn it into a wall. Just false doors on your camp, but um, if this was helpful, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, I do stream on Twitch every single night, uh, twitch.tv slash Rotomon. Again, hopefully this helped. If you have any other uh, tips and stuff you want to see how to do, if you, if you don't find them in other videos, ask them in the comments and I will knock them out for you. Y'all have a great day.